Hello, I'm Naisage. Today, I'm going to tell you the tale of a silent killer that has engulfed the whole society, irrespective of the age, sex and position, which is affecting the physical, physiological and behavioral well-being of an individual. It has become a popular buzzword. Yes, I'm talking about stress. Let's understand what it really means and try to find out the ways to manage this. Stress is the harmful physical and emotional responses that occur when the requirements of the job do not meet the capabilities or resources of the worker. We can categorize them as physical, emotional or biological. It initiates the fight or flight response that's a complex reaction of neurologic and endocrinologic systems. First, the eyes or ears or both send signal to the amygdala of the brain which interprets stress and sends a distress signal to the hypothalamus which activates the sympathetic nervous system by sending signals to the adrenal glands which releases epinephrine from the adrenal medulla and norepinephrine from the sympathetic ganglia. When the initial surge of epinephrine declines, the hypothalamus activates the HPA axis consisting of the hypothalamus, pituitary gland and adrenal glands. Hypothalamus releases corticotropin releasing hormone which travels to the pituitary gland triggering the release of adrenocorticotropic hormone again which travels to the adrenal glands prompting them to release cortisol. Secretion of these stress hormones are associated with certain physical reactions that prepare the body for violent action. Increase heartbeat and respiration to provide more energy and oxygen. Pale body surface due to reduce blood flow to the body. Dilation of pupil for better vision of surrounding. Trembling and shaking due to tensed muscles. Now, the question is, how can we effectively manage this stress? Eating healthy food, taking enough rest, use of adaptogen herbs like ashwagandha and the holy basil, being positive, spending time with friends and relatives are a few stress busters. But the most important is yoga, which can align your body, mind and soul. Controlled breathing exercises, yogasans, along with pranayam and meditation are highly beneficial for reducing stress. Just think what will happen if I apply the same pressure on both. So if stress is equal to pressure by resilience and pressure is any other external situation or condition where resilience is your own inner strength to cope up with it. So you can withstand any amount of stress if you increase your own resilience which can be achieved by the simple formula of spreading smiles and walking miles. So by doing all these you can be the master of your own health, manage stress and lead a healthy life. Happy living!